What's up guys, here's Claudio from Visual Moto WordPress Teams and in today's video we're gonna learn how to create and optimize our WordPress robots txt file and why your website needs one okay so first of all I need to explain what is the robots txt file this is a Google recommended and in fact every kind of search engine recommended file and every single good website that it's wishing to rank on Google needs to have this file okay so if we move to any website for example so for example I don't know if you remember this very popular mobile game in some from some years ago the Angry Birds if you go to the Angry Birds website and just type slash robots.txt and type enter this gonna point you to their robots.txt and every single site need this file for a good SEO optimization this file test tells to search engines to index your page what page they need to crawl imagine the crawlers like little robots or spiders that goes to our site page for page to index those pages in the search engine system okay the most popular are Google and Google recommends this file on your site so any kind of website have this file even if you go to for example apple.com website they have the robots.txt file as well let's try another one and for example a popular hosting company cloudways that we are we have a link below into this video in the case that you want to purchase a host from there this is a popular hosting company and as you can see another robot.txt file this is a public file every single website needs one and into this video we're gonna learn how to create one and edit optimize one in your WordPress for the guide we're gonna be using this this blog post from visualmoto.com that I'm gonna leave a link in the description below and a card over here so no need to worry okay so the very first step is go to our WordPress dashboard and go to plugins add new and before anything don't forget to hit the subscribe button into this video like the video share with your friends if you are if you like the content and write a comment down in the case that you have any question or want to help because this really really helps us but we can create a robots.txt file in a very easy way using wordpress plugins we have two possible plugins that are good we have hunk math that i'm gonna bring into another video and we have Yoast SEO. For this video, we're gonna be using the more popular one that is Yoast. So, type Yoast into the right top corner of your site in the search field. And this is the first one, Yoast SEO by Team Yoast. It have millions, five millions of active websites running it. It's the most popular. I will not bring to the topic of what is best but this is free and works great okay so no need to worry we're gonna be using this plugin for future videos about sitemaps as well so subscribe the channel for more tutorials okay as soon as you activate the plugin you're gonna be redirected to the wordpress plugins list page this is the list we have the plugin already activated they want to get the premium version no needs we're gonna keep all for free no need to worry and click on settings we have a playlist on our youtube channel about seo and we guide step by step installing this plugin setting it up setting social up and optimizing page using it but for this video we're gonna just be using this plugin for a very important task of our SEO process of our site for search engine optimization process okay it's the robots.txt so as soon as you activate the plugin you're gonna be able to see an SEO tab present on your WordPress left side of menus 
under to the settings and once on Yoast go to the submenu tools. Once right here we're gonna be moving to the file ed editor. As you can review, there is no robots.txt. You don't have a robots.txt file. Create one here. This is exactly what we're gonna do. Create robots.txt file. So here is our file. Now, if you go to your domain.com slash robots.txt, you can see this file present and this is exactly how the file should look like. What does this file do and how to optimize it? The very, very first thing to do, it's the user agent and this character. Okay, so this tells basically to every kind of crawlers to crawl your site. You are allowing crawlers to access your site and see the page so they can hunk. So what are other things we can do? We can alloy and disalloy. And how does it work? For example, imagine that your your crawlers, the Google crawlers, for example, have millions and thousands and billions of pages to, to crawl every day. Because as you may have not said, internet is a quite big and growing. So if you if the if some robots go to our site to crawl it it does not mean that they're gonna crawl every single page you have something like you can call and no paddle call it as the crawling budget so the indexing budget google gonna crawl a certain number of pages of your site per time so if you want to start index to all the important page you need to tell to the crawlers to the robots files to not try to load some files for example we're gonna disalloy slash wp admin panel so we're gonna disalloy the wordpress dashboard we can disalloy search results we can disalloy for example private pages like contents we can disalloy uh, if you use to provide support you can disalloy the tickets from support for example let me show you one example here. They are disalloying the admin, the eject, the zdev, the site, the en, the upload CNS, the blog featured. They do not want crawlers to access those pages because they think that they have more important pages that worth the indexation. So. This is how to manage your indexing budget, your robots budget, okay? So, let's go back to the Apple website, for example. As you may not see, Apple disalloy lots of things. Shop bag, shop sign out, shop sign in, retail, shop mobile. They disalloy lots of things, okay? But there is something interesting that you can do to optimize your robots.txt a little more in addition to the disallowing non-important parts of your site, okay? Pay an extra attention right here. The site map. Some people tell that this is an old practice, but if Apple is doing, you can believe that is important, okay? They know what to do. So site they what does the robots.txt directs from so if you apply your site map into this in this way site map two dots and your site map url this gonna brings the crawlers to your site map so they can index more pages of your site okay i'm gonna rise a video explaining how to create a site map soon but remember this this is really important for a good robots.txt file on your site, especially on your WordPress site. Yoast SEO and Rank Math plugins already creates a site map. I'm gonna explain how to do this in future videos, so subscribe to this channel. 
But the most important thing to pay attention for it's the fact that you can alloy and disalloy, okay? So there's no need to alloy every single part. This is only useful in the case that you disalloy, for example. We disalloy WP admin, but we want to alloy the WP admin Ajax, okay? Because we have disalloyed admin, so we need to specificate what part of WP admin we want to alloy. Whoever the user agents do two dots and the symbol already alloy every single part of your site to be crawled by the robots. So no need to worry about alloy. We need to worry about alloy so we can save our indexing budget so the crawlers can run and index the really important pages of our site, the optimized pages, the pages that, for example, are not internal pages or page for tests. And this is the most important thing. As soon as you finish your optimization right here, in this way, we are already, already good to go, but we can optimize a little more in the case that you want. Let's scroll down. This is the visual model post. Please follow this post, okay? Lots of tips. And here is a good example. We're gonna disalloy readme.html. We're gonna disalloy WP contents plugins. We're gonna disalloy the trackback. We have site maps. And here is a good example. And after finishing your process right here, Let's go back, click on save change to robots.txt and this is gonna update your site robots.txt, okay? However, you can go to our search console on Google from this link and test and even submit your robots.txt for a faster indexation of your new page, okay? No need to worry, this is really simple. You just need to be logged into your Google account and apply your site as a property, okay? And it is. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to use the comment section below in the case that you have any question. And don't forget to check out the visualmoto.com portfolio of amazing WordPress themes. Download our Enzo and Borderless WordPress plugins free on WordPress.org because you can create amazing sites using them. Subscribe to this channel, follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, we are Visual Moto, and I did leave some links into the first comment of this video for useful things if you want to be a website owner, a web developer, a designer, because we have links where you can download free assets like icons, templates, themes, images for free. Every new week we have new designs to load. You can purchase a domain for 99 cents in the case that you want. You can purchase a $5 month web hosting and you can purchase a performance hosting on Cloudways. This is really important. You're gonna gain discounts and it is. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Use the comments if you have any question. Share it with your friends and I see you later. All the best!